Yes? Worlder, anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. We are the outcasts. Banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars... It all sounds so, so, so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. You'd probably get more information from Gendar, the village leader, or maybe Rukil, but I'll tell you whatever I can. He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say where for sure. He's always busy doing whatever he can to make the lives of the other villagers easier. I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Is there anything else you need? There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk to me. Gendar might know more about them. Well, I was born here for starters. 
My parents were outcasts, banished to the Undercity for some crime or other. They never really like to talk about it. Everyone here is an outcast, or the descendants of one. It's tough down here, but we survive. I guess it's easier for me since I've never known anything different. Some of the people have given up all hope. They've become bitter and depressed, but most of us are good people, despite what our ancestors may have done. Gendar could probably tell you more, or maybe Rukil. You could talk to them if you want. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. A lifetime lived in this dark place mad. Wait, upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. The villagers infected with the Rukgor disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into Rukgors, we'll let them destroy each other. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the Rukgor disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rat ghouls and attack them at any moment. I can't stop you from going through the gates, Upworlder. But if the infected ones have already transformed into rat ghouls, you'll be walking into your grave. Please, help us. We're infected with the rat ghoul disease. At any moment, we could... Uh... No! This cannot be... No! like them. We have the rat ghoul disease. It is only a matter of time until we are transformed into terrible creatures like those who attacked you when you first came into the pen. It is too late for them. Soon it will be too late for us, and we will transform into those horrible rat ghouls ourselves. Please hurry, Upworlder. We don't have much time until the transformation. Don't forget about us, Upworlder. If you find any way to cure this disease, please come back and help us. Back again? Is there something else you need? Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer. 
We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village, as my father was and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. The rat ghouls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you... You... you come from the world above! Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? The beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, Upworlder, I beg you! A question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil. The oldest outcast here in the village. Rukul Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. Once I was honored for my wisdom, but over time the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually there was only a single apprentice who followed me, and now she is gone too. My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. You are the braver villagers. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. It ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right.
Yes? Hurry, Hindar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rackles are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate. Not while the Rackles are so near. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the mute. And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all. No, you can't do this. It isn't fair. Please. I can't. You Thank you for saving Hendar. Braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? I'm Trellin, from the Outcast Village. It's my job to guard the gates and see they are locked to protect us from the Rat Ghouls. <laughs> I just guard the gates. Gendar's. Goodbye, up. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is going to help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find. Just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rat Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. 
The stink reminds him of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. my skin something growing like some kind of hideous disease no no I can feel it What's on your mind? Terrace? With the plant? From what? You got it. Security papers. Oh, 
You're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the Rack Ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of Rack Ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Oh, is that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the Undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Hey, I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court-martials and executions. I was just talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant-infested hole. Move out!
Yeah? Yes? I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Hmm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion. Davik controls it all here on Taurus. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. This isn't really the best place to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess I could spare a couple of seconds for you. After all, you did help us out with those rat ghouls. The lower city is overrun with gangs. But the two most important ones are the Hidden Becks and the Black Vulkers. Used to be the Becks were the big dog and kept the others in line. But lately, the Black Vulkers are moving in on Beck turf and challenging them for control. The Vulkers are even starting to defy Davik. Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them. But I know for a fact those damn Vulkers have already sent their own salvage party down here. Come on, boys, let's move out! Thank 
Greetings once more, Upworlder. Do you bring news of my apprentice? Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. The great city of Taris covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use, and the poor were left to starve and die. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down, along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the upper city. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace, a life devoid of all hope but one, the Promised Land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity, where droid servants tend to every need. For many years, I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. Sounds like a myth to me. 
Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps with their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. Yes, Upworlder. Well done. However, I see that this journal alone does not have enough clues for me to solve this mystery. Too many pieces are still missing. I'm afraid that only with all three journals, my grandfather's, my father's, and my apprentice's, will I be able to discover the location of the Promised Land. I will leave this journal with you for safekeeping for now. Perhaps it will aid you in your search for the others. I wish you luck, Upworlder, for the sake of the entire village. you talking with Rukul. He told you his legends about the Promised Land, didn't he? He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? You know, most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old cook. But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. For an outcast, I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me to bring in food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. I get the feeling if it wasn't for Gendar, this place would be a lot worse off than it is. But if Rukul ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. I won't let that happen. Don't judge me. I learned a long time ago that if I want to survive down here, I've got to look out for number one. The two explorers who went searching for the Promised Land might have found something. They might have found clues or evidence, just like Rukul's apprentice. They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all three journals to me. The two from the explorers and the one from Rukul's apprentice. Then I can destroy the evidence and make sure nobody ever finds the promised land. I've saved up enough credits for my business here to make it worth your while if you help me. Don't be a fool! I'm the only one here who can pay you for those journals. Rukil has nothing. He won't be able to come up with any kind of reward. Once you have all three journals, just bring them to me and I'll give you a decent reward. Now... Was there something else you needed? It ain't the best. Ready. Yeah. 
Yes? Never really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, but there were three of them. So, maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you poor slimes, and charged right at them. One of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Hey, don't treat me like I'm a little girl. I ain't no kid. I'm 14 years old. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. I keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay upwind when he's speaking and you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. My brother's a touchy subject, you know? It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Yeah. I'll show you. Yeah. 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 
What? style manual box. No computer code to nothing. The sewers is the only place you can see one of these on terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device that should be <laughs> I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. 
You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. <laughs> These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. <laughs> solemn vow a Wookiee can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. <coughs> I guess this means you're stuck with me, too. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost lost him once. It's not gonna happen again. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Volker base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a back to work that scum den. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non-Volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Rancor monster isn't still there. There used to be a ranker monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge! Luckily, rankers aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is, unless you want to change your mind. Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield, and we'll know we're there. No problem. Got it. What? No problem. Got it.
What? Yes? buddy. Oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. Ew! No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Gamorians smell like Fanta Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. Toothbrush, sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time.
be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of a black Volker who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you.
Hey, Big Z, don't take this the wrong way, but lately, I've noticed you're starting to look a little bit scruffy. <coughs> no, I'm not suggesting a bath. I know how well that went over last time. But your hair's getting all tangled, and uh, if you look close, you can see a few gray strands starting to poke through. <coughs> Don't worry, Big Z. It's nothing I can't fix. A little trim, a splash of coloring, and you'll be as good as new. Best looking Wookiee on the planet. Maybe a nice suit. <laughs> I know, Wookiees aren't into the whole clothing thing, but you could start a whole new trend. You'd be on the cutting edge. <laughs> okay, okay, sheesh. Try to offer some constructive criticism. This is the thanks I get? Let's move on. You can just stay naked and scruffy for all I care. do for you. Okay, have it your way. Yeah? No one's gonna see this mission. No one's gonna see this mission. Huh? No one's gonna see this mission.
No one's gonna see this much. gonna see this mission.
Ready? Sure. <laughs> 